I don't understand why some people just think the license fee is a thing. It always has been a thing and always will be a thing. It doesn't have to be a thing. Hi, it's me again, and this little rant was stirred up by this headline I saw in IE News. Look at this headline. The time has come for the BBC to make the license fee cheaper for everyone. All right, it should be cheaper than it is, but it also shouldn't exist. All you're doing there is pushing the narrative that the license fee should exist. No other TV channels out there in this country survive on a license fee. They ever survive on subscription or advertising or both. Why can't the BBC do that? Why must there be a license fee? Why does it need to be a cheaper license fee? Why does it need to be any license fee at all? Why can't the BBC do what other channels manage to do and stand on their own two feet? ITV, Channel 4, they are also public service broadcasters, just like the BBC, but they're not gifted 3.7-ish billion quid a year in license fee income. It, I just don't understand where this headline comes from. He's obviously a defender of the BBC, whoever wrote this. It makes no sense. Cancel the license fee and make it cheaper. As we brace ourselves for a winter of increased food and energy costs, the time seems to have come for the BBC to think about offering a substantial reduction in its license fee. See, again, how does that make any sense at all? As we brace ourselves for a winter of increased food and energy costs, the time has come for the BBC to think about ending the license fee and saving everybody 13 quid a month, 159 quid a year. Energy fees are insane. I can't believe how much the gas is costing me in my new gaff. It's ridiculous. And there's, there's people out there, I accept, in much worse situations than I'm in, and they're paying the bloody license fee. How's that helping anybody? And saving a couple of quid off it's going to help, is it? Because it was frozen. It's been frozen for a couple of years. Nadine Dorries got the license fee freeze through. And they reckon that saved us between five quid a year and maybe sort of somewhere between five and ten quid a year. But I think it's probably closer to five. Oh, thank you, overlords. That five quid a year is going to make a massive, massive difference to us. Isn't it? Are you having a bloody laugh? 159 quid a year probably wouldn't make a massive difference to many people, but it would make a substantial more difference than the five or a year freeze that you've given them. All this whole article does is enforce the narrative that there is a license fee, there's always been a license fee, and there always should be a license fee. Why is he not talking about ending the license fee, putting pressure on the BBC to go commercial, stand on its own two feet, and stop poncing off the great British people? So why not go further and cut the basic £159 annual cost of the BBC to £100 per household? That would make a real statement that the BBC was bonded to its public. But it's not bonded to its public. The free TV licences for the over 75s was a government thing. The government said we don't want nothing to do with it anymore, even though they promised they did, but that's government for you. Passed it over to the BBC who said no, no, we'll keep the free licences for the over 75s. And then they stopped it as well. The BBC is not bonded to its public. The over 75s are the people who have been paying the licence fees all their lives for all the households they've ever lived in, supported the BBC, and the over 75s are a huge bracket that enjoy broadcast TV, unlike the younger people, mostly stream TV nowadays. That's who their target audience are, and they shit on them by still making them pay for it when they were supposed to be getting it for free. The BBC is not bonded to its public, it's bonded to the 3.7 billion quid a year that it gets for sitting on its arse. The idea of a cut to the licence fee was broached this month by the former head of output of BBC News, Jamie Angus who told an international conference that the BBC needed to move away from a universal telly tax and embrace a two-tier model, where the basic level cost was £100 per year for access to BBC core services. In other words, that sounds very similar to the plan that I came up with a couple of years ago on this channel. Sack off all the channels of the BBC, right? And just keep BBC One, or just call it BBC Channel, and BBC News Channel, all right? Put them on the telly, free to watch, but with adverts in them. And if you want to watch something new, the fresh programming, you've got to use BBC Plus or whatever they want to call it, iPlayer for now, and pay a subscription fee to that. So if you want to watch EastEnders at night, you've got to pay your $5.99 a month or whatever to BBC iPlayer, BBC Plus over there. If you don't want to pay it, you still have access to BBC Core Services, the two broadcast TV channels, where you will see something like the EastEnders Omnibus on a Sunday morning, but chock full of ads. What's wrong with that? Why do you still want us to pay a hundred quid a year 
to get less stuff, much less stuff, whilst wanting us to subscribe over there at the same time. Why can't you just do that same thing? We'll subscribe over there if we want to, and you give us this bit for free, but you show ads and you make the money up that way. The license fee doesn't have to exist. These people just don't seem to understand that the license fee doesn't have to exist. Now, granted, that guy was the former head of output of BBC News, Jamie Angus, so he's probably not going to say anything too bad. Hey, my thoughts on it anyway. So what do you think about that then? Because so many journalists just they just accept that the license fee is a thing. It always has been a thing, always should be a thing. It doesn't. Things can change. And we can all make it change by convincing as many people as possible to cancel their TV license and save the 159 quid a year. If you want to know more about that, hit the links down in the description box of this. There's loads of videos to help you. And on my main page on YouTube, there's one good video to share with everybody. And um, if you've got any questions about it, you can email me directly through the website. So all the links and everything are below as well. That's the best way to sort this out. And you need to save the 159 quid a year at the minute because things are so, so blooming expensive. If you're still paying the license fee, ask yourself why. Because as long as you don't watch anything as it's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer, you don't need to pay for it. You can still watch 90% of the stuff you'd watch anyway. You're just going to miss out on some BBC stuff. But ask yourself, how much BBC stuff do you actually watch anyway? That's the thing. Let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video I can see. Ta-da.